This is a quick review of the uh, Versa 9 uh, Pro XT from Tactical Imports. They lent this, uh, lent this gun to us a long time ago, probably about a year ago, and they haven't got it back to me yet. I'm going to get it out right after this review. Uh, they're good people over there, so they haven't been too bad. They haven't been bugging me or nothing, but I feel real bad having it that long. Um, I've shot about 500 rounds through this uh, handgun, and at first, to be honest, I didn't like it. Oh, by the way, if you hear dogs barking in the background, sorry, I can't keep them quiet today. They just want to bark, bark for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, we got a puppy, so that's probably why the puppy's attacking the older dog and whatever. Anyway, so if you hear some barking, please ignore it. Uh, anyway, back to the gun. Um, it is empty. I know everybody likes to do this online. And that's, that's been checked already. Anyway. Uh, to be honest with you, anyway, back to the review. To be honest with you, I didn't actually like it at first when I first started shooting this. It hurt my hand. Um, I found the grip too big, which I still find actually it's too big. And as far as I know, it doesn't come with any uh, replacement ones like some of the other uh, handguns do. Um, but after a while of adjusting my hand, my grip, uh, I got it so it didn't hurt my hand as much. Uh, pretty much at all, actually. Uh, I wasn't very accurate with it at the beginning either. Um, and after a while, I, I learned how to use it. So I guess it's pretty common, especially when I'm used to polymer frame guns, uh, they do shoot differently. And this one is, is significantly different than the, my other polymer guns I've used. Uh, nice features with this one, though. It's got the glowing red red sight there. It's got uh, adjustable um, rear sight. Um, you can also, uh, it has a, also has a decocker. You can decock it, which is nice. Uh, that's your safety as well. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, this is your, that's your slide release. It's got um, one thing I did notice is the trigger. Obviously, when it's cocked, it's going to be a lot lighter, right? Let me uh, actually give me a sec. Actually, let me grab the. I can find it here. My trigger pull. I don't have my trigger gauge here. Um, so yeah, it's another thing I, d I noticed with it too is that when you try to reach some of the yeah. try to reach some of the um, buttons and stuff on it, I got magazines. I got to extend. I got a shortish kind of thumb actually for my hand. I don't think it's as normal size. Like it's not stubby or nothing, but <laughs> I think it's a little smaller than most people's thumbs or stubby or something. I don't know. But I just have a harder time reaching the ejection or magazine release button. But when you do, it's really nice. It ejects it out there quite nicely. Uh, obviously, in Canada, we're allowed 10 round mags. Unfortunately, it's the way it is. Uh, at least at uh, current times. At uh, current times, they're also talking about banning handguns and semi automatic rifles in Canada. So we're up for a battle here. But anyway, another whole story, another whole video. Um, just don't vote liberal. What do we do? Anyway, uh, back to the gun. Take down. I have another video on that too, but I'll, I'll show it here real quick because it's super easy. I won't go into total detail, but you just basically pull the lever. Where's on camera? It always messes up. Oh. Okay, what the hell's going on here? Okay, so. I had to cut out for a second there because it wasn't working for some reason, and I didn't realize because I always, whenever I take a gun apart, I always I forgot I just put the magazine back in it just to show you guys and stuff. But I just realized that with the magazine in it, you cannot take it down. I guess it gets caught up on the magazine well or whatever at the top. Uh, it might be common sense thing. I actually, first time I've ever ran into that, and that's only because I'm the first time I've ever tried to take a gun apart with a magazine in it. So you have to take out the magazine. And apparently you have to decock it too. I'm learning stuff right on camera here. So you gotta decock it and take out a magazine. My totally my mistake. Nothing to do with the firearm itself. That's just my uh, my mistake there. Um, flip this down. Slides right off. You can pop this out and pull down, take up the barrel. That simple. I have another video, quick video on it, so I'm not gonna go into detail. But and then all you do is just quickly slide it back on. 
There, pull there, click. And done. So takedown is freaking awesome. Um, it's one of the easiest takedowns of any handgun I've, I've used personally, so I uh, really enjoy that. It's really good. Uh, like I said, I, I'll probably be rolling in more footage of this as I'm shooting it, because I've got some videos I'm going to splice into this. Uh, like I said, I, the only complaints I would really have, uh, because it's been 100% reliable, I've had no stove pipes, no fail to feed, nothing actually from this firearm at all. And like I said, I think I've shot about 500. I could have shot a little less or a little bit more, I'm not sure. It's around there though. Like I said, I've had it way too long uh, to remember it all. But uh, yeah, overall it's pretty good. And I like the adjustable sights. I didn't use these much, I just kind of left it where it came. But you can adjust these for up and left and right. So. Uh, and a nice glowing front sight there. Very nice. Um, yeah, it, it does have a safety, um, which is very easy to switch on and off. And I believe it's completely am ambidextrous, I believe, except for the mag release. Yeah. So lefties can use it, it'll be a little difficult, but I'm not sure if there's a kit or something you can buy. Maybe we'll switch it over. Anyway, that's just a quick my thoughts on it. Uh, like I said, the only thing I don't really like is the grip. It's too big. Um, it is heavier than a polymer, but obviously, because you're, you're more metal on it, it's common sense. Can't do nothing about that. Accuracy is pretty good. It's got a nice big uh, trigger well uh, for people wearing gloves. In Canada, that's important uh, for a lot of people. Uh, the trigger is good. Uh, obviously, you know, the first time pulling it, it's going to be a little rough, but. Uh, when it's cocked and ready to go, a little bit of squish there, see, you see that, and then hits the wall and then goes pretty good. So it's not the best trigger in the world, uh, it's one of the better triggers I've used, but um, overall it's a nice gun. I'll uh, roll some footage of the website too, uh, Tactical Imports website on here so you can see the current price and stuff, because I haven't looked in the last little while, I might have changed, but uh, it's not too expensive. Uh, at least in terms of Canadian terms. I know in the States, and I'll have some of them actually reviews from me when I'm going to the States soon coming up. Because uh, I'll be um, handling some guns down there and stuff. Obviously not mine, but uh, so I'll be posting that. But anyway, obviously in, in the States you can get a lot of cheaper deals on some of the guns out there. And uh, it might seem expensive to U.S. visitors uh, to the site. But you got to realize in Canada we pay a premium for something we can only take to the range. So uh, I'm thankful at this point until... Uh, at this point, we're allowed to even keep them, which is good. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, liberals are trying to take them all away completely. Uh, as gun owners and that, we got to stand up for that. Even if you're from the U.S., send some letters to our parliament. I don't care. Like, do whatever. But, uh, you know, I, I send stuff down there, too, but to help you guys with some of your stuff. Um, they're all going to stick together in every country, because I tell you, once one falls, they all go. Anyway, thank God for the Second Amendment in the States. But uh, not to carry on about that. Um, yeah, if you want to buy, go to Tech Lincoln take a look. They've got some pictures. I, I'll, I'll have pictures on our, our uh, BigRedsFirearms.com site of this and stuff as well. Anyway, let's stop rambling here. Uh, hopefully I've got some video footage of me shooting in here. You can see it. Uh, like I said, good gun overall. Well made. 